and welcome to this video. I'm Ebony Pham and we are going to be looking at some different machines and equipment that you are going to be using. We're going to be looking at the horizontal borer, setting up and safe use of the machine as well as PPE. we need to mark out your wood so to do that what we need is some equipment such as a marking gauge a ruler and a tri square so when we mark out our leg for our dowel joints what we want to do is we want to make mark for holes um, that line up nice and neatly according to a center line here. So the holes that go down the center line also need to match up with a rail that is being attached to the frame of the table. To mark out your rails and your legs, what you need to do is you need to set your marking gauge to half of the width of your timber. Then, once this is set, we draw a line along the end grain of the wood, just like that. Go over it with a pencil. And then we need to mark out where our holes are gonna go. So on a rail this wide, I'd probably put them about 15 millimeters from each edge. To mark out the legs, we need to have similar markings like this. So our 15 millimeter markings on our rail need to match up with our leg rail as well. So we'll mark the center of our leg rail first. Here's a mark gauge I prepared earlier. We just need to start out the marking. Just on the rail. And there we have it. We're all ready to drill. So on our rail, we are using the horizontal borer on our leg. We can use the horizontal borer or the drill press. When setting up your horizontal borer, you want to make sure that your timber is nice and straight in and set up correctly. So we want the hole to be nice and straight when it goes in. So please make sure you use a tri-square to just make sure that it's sitting straight up against the leg here. We also want to make sure that the drill height is in the right position to your marking and you've clamped your material down so it's very secure. We have a piece of scrap wood just underneath just so it doesn't ruin your timber. So to use this I'm going to turn on the machine on the side I'm going to then stand to the side of the machine. Using this speed handle, I'm going to push my timber into the spinning drill bit. I'm going to pull it out again, and then I'm going to turn off the machine. Just want to make sure that you remove the tri-square before you start turning it on. Turn it on on the side. Yeah. 